Hey everyone, welcome back to Care Fiction. I'm your host Subhankar. The Empty Man released in 2020 is a supernatural horror story that didn't receive a good response from the audience. And so the chances are that this movie might have slipped past you. That being said, it did gain a cult following later. And personally, I like this movie although it missed a few marks at few places. In fact, the film got me hooked from its opening sequence and the concept on which it is based on. Tulpas. As far as I know, Tulpas are rarely being depicted in fictional or horror works. For instance, X-Files and Supernatural did feature tulpas. But what exactly are tulpas? Let's find out. Tulpa is a concept rooted in mysticism and the paranormal realm. It may get a little confusing, but I will simplify. Tulpa is a term that originates from Tibetan Buddhism, where it means emanation, and it loosely translates into creation or magical illusion. Thus, a tulpa is an object or a being that is created through a person's mental powers and thoughts or you could say sheer willpower. To put it simply, one's thoughts have been materialized into a physical form. Although they are a product of our thoughts and visualization, tulpas are considered to be sentient beings having their own independent personality, emotions and consciousness. That is why they are also regarded as apparitions or magical illusions but more real. Think of them like a golem from the Jewish folklore in which inanimate matter are given life. Only that we are creating a tulpa out of nothing. I hope the idea of a tulpa is clear. Now let's dig deeper into its roots. To give a little context, there are three classes or schools in Buddhism, Theravada, Mahayana and Vajrayana, which are also referred to as vehicles of enlightenment. Vajrayana is a form of Tantric Buddhism and a branch of Vajrayana is Tibetan Buddhism. Vajrayana beliefs are mostly focused on search for enlightenment by means of Tantric practices, combining the physical and spiritual worlds. Now, according to Mahayana Buddhism, there are three kayas or bodies of the Buddha. Dharmakaya, the Sambhogakaya, and the Nirmanakaya. Vajrayana also has similar teachings which are called the three Vajras, body, speech, and mind correspondingly. This Vajrayana concept of emanation body is what the concept of Tulpa is. There are various accounts of Tulpas. The earliest mention was in the 1929 book written by the spiritualist Alexander David Neal. She defines tulpas as phantoms and magic forms generated by a powerful concentration of thought. She also mentions that tulpas were related to tulkus. While they may be similar in that they both represent physical forms, but the concepts are very different. Tulku is derived from Nirmanakaya as mentioned previously, which is the reincarnated manifestation of Buddha or any saintly individual or a non-human entity too, like a demon. On the other hand, Tulpas are emanated bodies produced from thoughts and there is a difference between emanation and reincarnation. So yeah, tulpas and tulkus are very different. Now we got the point that we create tulpas from our thoughts and so they are under our control or the control of the host. Thus in a manner of speaking, they are an extension of our consciousness and sentience. But tulpas can develop its own consciousness and sentience and thus progresses from just being a mere physical form to a real thinking being completely independent of the host. However, in the movie the tulpa was always under control and used as a vessel for the entity. Tulpas are similar to another concept called thought forms found within western occult traditions. Actually thought forms are believed to be a mix of tantric buddhism and western occultism. It was first mentioned in a book compiled by the members of the Theosophical Society. It talks in length about the visualization of thoughts, experiences and emotions. According to Annie Besant of the Theosophical Society, thought forms are divided into three classes. The image of the thinker, the image of some material object and a form entirely of its own. Thought forms are also sometimes considered as astral projections. In modern times, tulpas are also used to mean the psychological concept of imaginary friends and its practitioners are called tulpamancers. Basically that's what tulpas are. And if you want to dig deeper into various interpretations, it can get a little convoluted. Based on its depiction of tulpas, its mystery and horror elements, I think the empty man deserves a watch. I hope you have learned from this video. Thank you for watching and see you soon.